Okay, people, welcome back to another Foosh Review. Tonight, I'm taking a look at the Metacom Mafex number 062 Dark Knight Joker, the cop version. Now, I wasn't really screaming out for a cop version of Joker from the Dark Knight. It was just a short little scene. It wasn't anything outstandingly Jokerish. But Metacom started this new little thing where they add parts and pieces for older figures in with new figures that make you want it even more. Don't get me wrong, I would have probably ordered this because I've been buying all the Moffex Dark Knight trilogy stuff, but this right here is just frosting on the cake. Looking at the package, it's your standard Mafex fare, but it's been Jokerized. I think this was kind of like the first. I don't know, it's been a while since I've messed with the first Dark Knight Joker or even, did I even get the bank robber joker in the package? I don't know. On the side we get the joker card, the jokerized everything on it. On the back, pretty promotional shots of, <laughs> there's only so many poses that he had in the movie. But then there's the add-on parts for the first joker. It shows the two, is it hat on and hat off? Is that what that says? The rest of the parts. And this morning, some unreadables probably says something like, the third figure in a row in this line in two months to be a dude in a suit. Haha, <laughs> gotcha. On the side, more Jokerized graphics. On the top, the exact same thing. On the bottom, more warnings, more unreadables, notices, legalese, uh, warnings, Metacom toys, barcode, uh, a nice little holographic thing. But I'm gonna get this out of the package and see what can be done with this figure. And they always seem to do this. They tape the stand, which I don't care much for the Metacom stands at all. They always tape it and it ends up on the back of the box, like I'm ripping it apart. And It's not a big deal. It's not like I'm saving the box or anything, but yeah, they always throw something in there. Everything come out. Dudes and suits! Dudes and suits! See, it looks like three figures going to a board meeting. A really weird board meeting, but you know what I mean. And there we go, all out of the package, and I have to say, I like it. It's not the most exciting, but I like it. The uniform detail is really, really nice. You can see the gold buttons on here. Uh, he has the badge. Uh, the rank, I guess this is a rank thing. The flag pin on the lapel, there's a little bit of blue. The rest of it's kind of gold. It's not really red, white, you know, no stars, no stripes. But you get around to here and the patch on the shoulder is nicely done. You can actually read that. But honestly, the rest of the figure all the way around, it's just a blue suit. I mean, there's nothing really super exciting about it. But it's not meant to be. This is a very specific scene in the movie when he was undercover. He wasn't meant to stand out. But we get up to the face and it, yeah, I can see Heath Ledger. It has a little Nicholson, maybe because of the scarring. It's very hard to see. And there's some actual green in there. I don't remember that from the movie. Maybe I didn't pay much attention. Maybe the colors in the movie were a little bit drab and dreary. But the Joker-esque aspects of the face, the scars on the side of the mouth there. Yes, when you get up close, you could see the dots from where it was printed. But to tell the truth, in person, it's really hard to see. And then as usual with Mafex, uh, this, it's a little bit yellow, but they're getting better. I, I do have to say they're getting better with it. And that's the same with articulation. They've taken strides to clean up the QC on their articulation. Back when I first started buying this line, it would fall apart. The joints would be loose. This is all nice and solid. <laughs> <laughs> say that. I was going to drop down the hip and I pulled too hard. That was my fault. It needs to be popped back on. The only thing that bugs me about this, and it's because of how he wore this in the movie, but the front is buttoned so it shouldn't really be a separate piece, but I feel like it should be a separate piece because all the other suits in this line, the jacket is a separate piece so it can kind of float up and down. I don't think it's quite part of the torso. I think it's just glued to the torso if I'm you know, feeling right. Going over articulation, there is a dumbbell joint at the top of the neck and there is a ball at the bottom just slightly. The collar comes up kind of high, blocks that articulation, but there is a little movement there. But he can look down, he can look up, tilt, tilt, which if you watch these reviews long enough, you know tilt is my favorite head movement. Swivel, there's a ball going into the torso so you can drop the shoulder down, you can bring it forward a little bit, you can bring it back, back up to the sleeve. And that drop down is just to give you more range of movement for when you come out to the ball joint at the shoulder, you can get that far out. It rotates around and the arm also rotates on that ball in there. Double elbow, but doesn't come all the way up. They didn't do enough cutout. If they had just done a little bit more right there, he could have come up and touched his own shoulder. Swivel hinge swivel at the wrist so you can get it going one way. There's swivel. 
if you bring that around, you can rotate it and then have it in and out. I think they tried. I think there's kind of a joint up in there. You can't see because of the sh jacket being glued down, but because of the solid piece jacket, you're not getting a lot of movement there. Kind of crunch, not a lot. Now I showed you the drop down hip. If you pull too hard, it's a ball joint. You're gonna pull it off. I, <laughs> now it won't come off. Ah! If you pull too hard, you're gonna pop the hip off. It's just a ball. It's easy enough just to, it's easy enough just to, it's, <laughs> you bastard. It's easy enough just to pop back on and it's back on there. But because of the drop, it comes all the way out, goes back. It doesn't quite go all the way out. Good enough though. There's rotation on that ball. Single knee comes up barely past 90. There's a hinge at the ankle, but because of the pants cuff, uh, you don't get a lot back. You get a little forward, a little bit of tilt there, and then a toe joint comes all the way up. For accessories, Joker comes with two relaxed hands. He comes with rifle holding hands. He's got a trigger finger here, uh, the weight of the weapon here. And then he comes with two fists. Put them up, put them up. And the wrists are the usual Mephexio engineering. It's just a straight peg. It's held on there with friction. It depends on the tightness of the hole. But all six of these that I've tried on, they've just slipped right on haven't had a problem at all. For other accessories, they included his rifle, and I will say this has more paint apps than what we see with a lot of other weapons from other companies. Yes, it's a little bit plain, it's just brown, it's got black, it's got white on the strap, and some detail work. But again, a lot of weapons we see anymore is just a straight metallic black or, you know, just single color with a little wash on it. But you'll notice on mine, it goes straight and then kicks up a little bit right here. I'm afraid to tweak this too much because the plastic feels Oh, a little bit fragile. Maybe with a little heat, I can bring that down, cool it off, straighten it out. The other thing that is odd to me, it's not uncommon, the strap is a rubber piece, so it's not gonna lay quite right if you put it over his shoulder or when he's shooting it. It, it doesn't have the same droop as an actual canvas or even a cloth strap would have on here. But a good thing is they had the trigger hand angled down for a rifle. It's not the usual holding a grip of a pistol look to it. They made it specifically for him to hold it straight like an actual rifle. So Metacom did a good job there. Same with the other hand, they angled it just right to hold the weight of the gun without it looking awkward or kicking the ankle. I keep calling it ankle without kicking the wrist down at an awkward angle. It just looks natural. Looks like he's going out hunting. But to finish off the costume, he comes with the Barney Fife like hat. I can't help thinking of Barney Fife with this. It's got the badge on the front of it. It's got some good detail. You can't tell exactly what it says. If it were there, it'd be microscopic and I wouldn't be able to see it. I don't know about y'all. There's a gold button on the side that they actually painted. Uh, just a good job with the hat overall. But when you go to put it on his head, it, mm, it, it sits okay. It just feels a little bit off. And that's just a byproduct of having hair on the figure and then trying to put a hat on it. Hair smashes down when you put a hat on. It doesn't work when it's hard plastic. Will it go any further? No, that's about as far as it goes. But not bad at all. I mean, it totally works for what it needs to work for. For comparison, like I showed a minute ago, here he is with the recently released Mafex Scarecrow and Harvey Dent, Two-Face, whatever you want to call him. I didn't realize Harvey was that small. That's kind of weird. Here he is with the Mafex Dark Knight Batman. Good size here. Joker's a little bit thinner, Batman's broader, but around the same height. If you want to fit him with your SH Figuarts Dark Knight Batman, here you go. We've seen several times before the SH Figuarts Dark Knight line, it doesn't run very deep, but it runs the same exact scale scale, nearly, almost, I can't prove that scientifically, as the Mafex Dark Knight line, which is going way deeper with their character selection. And then here he is with the two Mafex Jokers that I do have, the Bank Robber Joker and I think the Joker 2.0? Middle one may be slouching a little bit, but I like the look between all three. And then as always, here he is with Gus. This is not an open container, officer. I haven't even opened it yet. I couldn't care less. Just state my case, officer. I wouldn't want you to hold any ill will towards me. But that's not all. Like I showed in the package, it comes with another set of arms and it comes with another head for the original, original 2.0 Joker. And what you do here, I'm taking that off and you pop the arm off and you pop the other arm off and you slip him out of his jacket. Pop the new arms in. I had forgotten that they put white paint on the neck. Nice attention to detail right there. <laughs> what, they even put it on the ball? No, that's just dust off the other one. The new head, oh, that's tight as shit. Go on. Ah, there we go. And then that looks good too. I was afraid they wouldn't match the patterns from here to here and it looks like they kinda 
fudged it in places, but it's actually a good transition. But you kind of run into the same problem as you do when you take the jacket off Bane. It almost feels like this wasn't made to have the jacket off. The torso is kind of gappy, which you can fudge around until you get it in place, but then he Man, eh, that's not bad, actually. Damn, I didn't even realize the back was blue here. I guess I never pulled the jacket off this figure. But the arms are the same way. You have this extra gap down here. But again, you can get it to a position to where it looks okay for the most part. Double elbows have about the same range as the jacketed arms. Yes, you could still see pixels like you do with all the Mafex figures, but it's a little bit better than the original head, which, yeah, pixels pixels. That normal human distance, looking at it on the shelf or even in your hands, you don't notice a lot of that. But he has that look that he had in the gel cell. Or it kind of works for the, you know, well, hello, beautiful. And then on top of that, the new arms also come with, they just switch same pegs on the wrist. He has the two relaxed hands. He has the two splayed out hands, more made for clapping. And then he has two fists. Huh, interesting. I went to put it in a pose, and that's not a break. <laughs> and I'm not defending Metacom here. That's the actual joint, just the glue came out of the inner shoulder right there. But what I actually did was I went to put both hands out in front of him, and I tried to do the shoulder too much, and when I did, it pried it off like that. So be careful there. It's not a huge deal. In fact, I'm gonna glue it on right now. And then for comparison, here is that half a new figure, kinda along with Gus. You wanna know how I got these scars? Haven't I met you recently? No, that was me. I can't keep track of all you pasty face bastards. Who are you talking about? So at the end of the day, like I keep saying, I, it's a figure in a suit, but Metacom did a good job of sprucing it up a little bit. They threw in some extra hands, they put some extra care into thinking about how the, he, a person actually holds a rifle. The hat looks pretty good, it could be better. And then yeah, the arm fell off of the extra piece that came for the original Joker. I drop a glue, put it back on, haven't had a problem with it since. Now between just you and me, I would have liked to have seen the nurse Joker more. But I can't complain about this because I'm also kind of asking for Commissioner Gordon an Alfred, a Rachel. So more civilians that may not be the most eye-catching when it comes to your shelf full of superheroes and whatnot, but within the confines of what they're trying to do with this line, which is just trying to give you the most bang for your buck. If you love these movies, they're making a line just for you. And the police version of the Joker is part of that, along with getting new parts. But it makes me want to go back and buy another Joker 2.0. The same way I want to get two Harvey Dents so I can have a Harvey Dent and a Two-Face. Scarecrow came with the extra head and then the parts to make a demon Batman that makes me want to go back and buy another Batman figure. Metacom's got it down. I know a lot of people say, these thieving bastards, they're throwing stuff in there and they make you go back. They don't make you do shit. <laughs> really, I mean, they they add these parts and it's your own prerogative to go back and buy some. But damn it if I'm not a sucker who wants to go back and buy more stuff. Just to say it again, it's all civilians. Of course, most of the movies are civilians. Them going this deep with the action figures is a miracle in itself. So if you like the review, comment, like, subscribe. I'll catch you on the foosh.